Today, Phoebe helps Rachel realize something about her love life that changes her life. ¿Por qué antes no me lo dijiste? And we learn some handy Spanish vocab at the same time. Comencemos. Uf, estoy mal por cómo quedé con Ross. No debí mentirle respecto a tener que trabajar. Lo vi tan molesto conmigo. Ah, no seas tan dura contigo. Si estuviera enamorada de un hombre... ¿Estar enamorada? Sí. No estoy enamorada de Ross. Ah. No, no, bien. Y yo tampoco, claro. Phoebe, no voy a la boda de Ross porque él es mi exnovio y sería de verdad algo incómodo. Let's now dive in and break down the main vocabulary. Keep watching to find out what Rachel discovered during the breakdown. Uf, estoy mal por cómo quedé con Ross. Estoy comes from the verb estar, to be, and it means I am. Mal means bad, which is why the expression estoy mal can be used when you don't feel well, are uneasy, or like in this case, feel sick about how something happened. Rachel feels bad and sick. In this context, por means about. However, por can have several meanings like by or for. Como is a versatile word in Spanish that can function as a conjunction, adverb, or verb depending on the context. As an adverb, it can mean how or as. In this case, it means how. Quedé comes from the verb quedar. It means I stay or I remain. And is commonly used to refer to a specific moment or situation in the past where the speaker remained in a particular place or state. In this case, Rachel is describing how she feels about how she left things with Ross. Por como quedé con Ross. Uf, estoy mal por como quedé con Ross. No debí mentirle respecto a tener que trabajar. No debí means I shouldn't have or I ought not to have. And it is used to express regret or to acknowledge a mistake that was made in the past. Mentirle comes from the verb mentir, meaning to lie. Mentirle is formed by combining the verb mentir with the indirect object pronoun le, to him or her. Respecto is a Spanish preposition that is often used to indicate a relationship or connection between two things or concepts. It can be translated as regarding or about. In this case, Rachel is saying that she shouldn't have lied to Ross, no debí mentirle, about having to work. Respecto a tener que trabajar. No debí mentirle respecto a tener que trabajar. Lo vi tan molesto conmigo. The phrase lo vi is formed by the direct object pronoun lo, it, him, with the verb ver, to see. It literally means I saw him, her, it, and is used to say either that you saw something or someone or notice something in particular. Conmigo means with me. So Rachel is saying that she noticed Ross seemed upset with her. Lo vi tan molesto conmigo. Ah, no seas tan dura contigo. No seas tan dura contigo means don't be so hard on yourself. Let's break it down. No seas is the negative imperative form of the verb ser, to be. It means don't be or don't act like and is commonly used to give advice or to criticize someone's behavior or attitude, just like what Phoebe is doing with Rachel. Tan is an adverb that describes quantity, like so or such. Dura is a feminine singular adjective that means hard or tough. Therefore, Phoebe is telling Rachel to stop being so hard on herself. No seas tan dura contigo. She's so supportive. And hey, if you like this way of learning, Make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss videos like this one or our upcoming video of the song Ojitos Lindos by Bad Bunny. Ah, no seas tan dura contigo. Si estuviera enamorada de un hombre... Estar enamorada. Si means if, and it is used in a conditional sentence. Estuviera is the subjunctive conjugation of the Spanish verb estar, to be. This specific form is used to express hypothetical situations, desires, or doubts such as, if I were there. In this case, Phoebe is using it to talk about how she would respond if she were in a hypothetical situation of being in love with a man. Si estuviera enamorada de un hombre. Si estuviera enamorada de un hombre. ¿Estar enamorada? Sí. No estoy enamorada de Ross. Ah. 
No estoy means I'm not. Enamorada is an adjective that means in love or love struck. Enamorada is for women and enamorado for men. It is used to describe someone who has strong feelings of romantic attraction towards another person. Rachel is making it quite clear that she is not in love with Ross. No estoy enamorada de Ross. Will Phoebe actually believe this? <laughs> sí. No estoy enamorada de Ross. Ah. No, no, bien. Y yo tampoco, claro. Tampoco is a Spanish adverb that is used to express negation or to reinforce a negative statement. It means neither or not either, and it's commonly used to indicate that the same negative condition applies to another person or thing as well. For example, Aún no hablo español como nativo. Yo tampoco. If you relate to that, it's just probably because you haven't been learning with the right tool. To speak Spanish like a native, you need to actually get exposed to native Spanish, which is why watching clips from series in Spanish is so useful. The only issue is that if you watch them on YouTube or Netflix, it's easy to get lost with the unreliable subtitles and you may have problems remembering and understanding new vocabulary. But with a unique app like FluentU, if you get stuck while watching a video, FluentU's interactive subtitles will show you in context specific definitions along with video example. You can immerse yourself in authentic videos like movie clips, TED talks and music videos. And after each video, there's a quiz personalized to your level and speaking questions too. So you can practice everything that you just learned. If you want to speak Spanish confidently like a native, then sign up for a free 14-day trial. This is actually a great time to sign up because FluentU is currently on sale. No, no, bien. Y yo tampoco, claro. Phoebe, no voy a la boda de Ross porque él es mi exnovio y sería de verdad algo incómodo. No voy a la boda translates to I'm not going to the wedding. Boda means wedding. Rachel is saying that she is not going to Ross's wedding because sería de verdad incómodo. Sería is the conditional tense conjugation of the verb ser, to be. It means it would be. It is used to express actions or states that would happen under certain conditions, such as it would be great if or it would be awkward. The word for awkward in Spanish would be incómodo. It is an adjective that means uncomfortable or weird. Incómodo applies for masculine nouns and incómoda for feminine nouns. I totally understand Rachel here, right? Going to an ex's wedding? Muy incómodo. Phoebe, no voy a la boda de Ross porque él es mi exnovio y sería de verdad algo incómodo. No porque aún esté enamorada de él. Aún is a Spanish adverb that means still or yet. It is used to indicate that a particular condition or action is continuing or has not yet come to an end. Este is the present subjunctive form of the Spanish verb estar, which means to be. It is used to express doubt, desire, emotion, or hypothetical situations in the present tense. Just like in this case, where Rachel is saying that she is not going because it would be awkward, not because she's still in love with him. No porque aún esté enamorada de él. Oye, Ross me gusta tanto como cualquiera. Cualquiera is a Spanish pronoun and adjective that means anyone or any. It is used to refer to any person or thing without specifying a particular one. Like in this case, where Rachel is explaining that she likes Ross as much as anyone else. Oye, Ross me gusta tanto como cualquiera. Y es claro que siento algo por él, pero algo no significa amor. Es claro means it is clear. It is used to introduce a statement that is evident or obvious, such as Es claro que estás ahí. It is clear that you are there. Rachel is explaining to Phoebe that it is clear she feels something for Ross, but that something doesn't necessarily mean love. Es claro que siento algo por él, pero algo no significa amor. No significa means does not mean. It is used to negate or contradict a previous statement, like Rachel saying that she feels something, but it is not love. No wonder why Phoebe is confused. Y es claro que siento algo por él, pero algo no significa amor. Es que todavía siento algo de amor por Ross, ¿sabes? ¡Sí! <laughs> Don't 
todavía is an adverb that means still or yet. It is used to indicate that a particular condition or action is continuing or has not yet come to an end. For example, ¿Todavía no has visto nuestro PDF gratis? We've created it so you can easily access and study all the vocabulary that we have learned today. Get it by clicking on the link in the description below. Rachel is going on about how she still feels love for Ross. Todavía siento algo de amor por Ross, ¿sabes? Sabes means, you know, it is used to say confirmation. Rachel is trying hard to get Phoebe to understand that she is not in love with Ross. Es que todavía siento algo de amor por Ross, ¿sabes? ¡Sí! <laughs> bueno, yo, yo aún siento algo de amor, pero no significa que, que aún esté enamorada de él. Aún siento means I still feel. It is used to express that a particular emotion or sensation is continuing, like Rachel's love for Ross. But she is still trying to deny it by saying, pero no significa que, que aún esté enamorada de él. Bueno, yo, yo aún siento algo de amor, pero no significa que, que aún esté enamorada de él. O sea, la verdad siento atracción sexual hacia él, pero sí lo amo. O sea, is a Spanish phrase that is often used to say in other words or I mean. It is used to clarify or explain something that has been previously mentioned. Rachel is trying to explain what she has been saying for a while and she adds Siento atracción sexual hacia él, pero sí lo amo. Atracción is a Spanish noun that means attraction. It can refer to a physical, emotional, or intellectual attraction between people or things, such as the obvious attraction between Ross and Rachel, which apparently she has just come to discover. O sea, la verdad siento atracción sexual hacia él, pero sí lo amo. Oh, por Dios, pero ¿por qué antes no me lo dijiste? Por Dios means oh my God, and it is an expression of surprise. In Spanish, there are four porqués. Por qué, por qué, por qué, and por qué. Por qué is used when opening a question and requesting an answer, like in this case where Rachel is asking Phoebe why she didn't tell her before. Por qué is used when you use the word as a synonym for cause, reason, or explanation. Por qué is used as a conjunction. And finally, por qué is what you say when you introduce a cause for something. In this clip, Rachel uses the first one. ¿Por qué? This is the one used to ask questions as she is asking Phoebe why she didn't tell her before. Oh, estoy mal por cómo quedé con Ross. No debí mentirle respecto a tener que trabajar. Lo vi tan molesto conmigo. Ah, no seas tan dura contigo. Si estuviera enamorada de un hombre. ¿Estar enamorada? Sí. No estoy enamorada de Ross. Ah. No, no, bien. Y yo tampoco, claro. Phoebe, no voy a la boda de Ross porque él es mi exnovio y sería de verdad algo incómodo. No porque aún esté enamorada de él. Oye, Ross me gusta tanto como cualquiera y es claro que siento algo por él, pero algo no significa amor. Es que todavía siento algo de amor por Ross, ¿sabes? ¡Sí! Bueno, yo, yo aún siento algo de amor, pero no significa que, que aún esté enamorada de él. O sea, la verdad siento atracción sexual hacia él, pero sí lo amo. ¡Oh, ¡Por Dios! Pero, ¿por qué antes no me lo dijiste? You love this next video about Rachel Green's most iconic moments. Like, when she had to face her baby's father. So, go find out what happened while you learn more Spanish vocab.